Saint Germain here is a heavily fictionalized version of the real Count of Saint Germain, who is both a historical figure and the source of a lot of speculation. And when we meet him, he is tracking Vlad and Elizabeth. I had Monty draw him kind of in the vein of almost someone like Dog the Bounty Hunter or someone really, he's a, he's a bit of a brute. Died in the 18th century, but he sometimes claimed to have been centuries old. Rumor and speculation had it that he had discovered the Philosopher's Stone. In our case, we take this quite literally. He is immortal because of the properties of the stone. He has it, therefore he has access to unlimited wealth. And he is the illegitimate son of Queen Maria of Spain, the Habsburg dynasty. After he's born, he's sent to London, where he spends several years cutting a path across the taverns and pubs before he's essentially cut off by the new king after his father, King Carlos, passes away. He finds the Philosopher's Stone, and then he spends the next several centuries frolicking around Europe, entertaining at court playing music. By the early 20th century, he realizes that these sort of famous murderers are coming back to life and that the Philosopher's Stone is the one thing that can apparently kill them. So he finds a kind of meaning uh, because he's he's literally spent a few centuries just uh, indulging and doing whatever he wants. In fact, he acknowledges sitting out World War I, even though he was in France at the time. It's there in the 1920s that... uh, burglar breaks into his apartment and he ends up hitting him with part of the stone and realizing that it's affecting him and so he finds out later that um, this man was uh, Henri Landru who was a French serial killer and therefore he dedicates his life to hunting down these uh, killers who have returned from the grave.